Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how you can recover partitions from your external hard drive on your Mac OS. In this video, I'll make use of uh, recovery software which is available for your Mac OS, which you can find on this link. So if you're looking to recover external hard drive partitions on your Mac OS, then you can just visit this link and hit the download now button and get this software on your Mac. I'll run the software and I'll show you how you can make use of this software to recover partitions. Okay, so here's how the software looks like when it's launched on your Mac OS. So on the main screen, you'll find three options at the bottom. That is recover files, recover photos and recover volumes or drives. To recover partitions or volumes from an external hard drive, just click on the third option that you see here. That is recover volumes or drives. On the next screen, you'll find two options. That is volumes recovery or formatted reformatted recovery. Here we are not dealing with formatted or even reformatted recovery process. I'm looking to just recover the partitions from my external hard drive. That is nothing but volumes recovery. So I'll go with the first option. And here the software gives me the disk that is connected to my Mac OS. So all I have to do here is just select my external hard drive and then click on the next button that I find on the software down here. And these are all the partitions that are present in the hard drive that was selected in the previous step. On this screen, I'll find all the partitions that are present on my hard disk. So all I have to do here is just select the partition which I'm looking to recover and then click on the next button and proceed further. Okay, so here I find two scanning methods that is standard scan and advanced scan. First scanning method that is standard scan is relatively fast and will recover most of my files. But however, if standard scan doesn't recover my data, then I can go with the second option that is advanced scan, which implements a more rigorous recovery algorithm and will make sure that all my data is recovered from my partition. For this video, however, I'll go with the second option that is advanced scan. So I'll click on this. And on this screen, I can select any specific files which I would like to recover from my partition. If I'm just looking to recover the pictures, then I can select this option which will make sure that only the pictures are recovered from my partition. However, to recover the entire data from my external hard drive's partition, then I'll just have to skip this step by clicking on the skip button which I see down here. By clicking on the skip button, I can recover back the entire data from my partition that was selected in the previous step. I'll click on skip button and I'll proceed further. Okay, so now the software begins to recover back the entire data from the partition that was selected in the previous step. So once the data from this partition is recovered, I can save back the entire data to a folder on my Mac OS. So all I'll do now is just wait for the recovery to complete, after which I'll save back the data to this folder that I've already created on desktop. Before I save the data to this folder, I'll just open this folder and I'll show you the contents which are currently empty. And after I save back my data, you can find that all my data will be present in this folder. Okay, so here are all the folders that were recovered from the partition that was selected by me. So my next step is to save back all this data to a folder. So what I'm going to do is I'll select the entire list of folders that were recovered from my partition by clicking on the root folder. And then I'll click on the save button and select the folder which I've already created on the desktop. Okay, so here you can see that all the data which was recovered from my partition is being saved to the folder that is selected by me. I'll wait for the saving process to complete after which I'll once again open the target folder and check if the files and folders have been saved successfully to this folder. Okay, so now since the saving process is completed, I'll go back to the target folder and check if the files are saved. So here are all the files and folders which are recovered from my external hard drive partition. So it's this simple to recover partitions from an external hard drive on your Mac OS by making use of this recovery software. 
So if you're looking to recover partitions from your external hard drive, then just visit the link that I provided below in the description and download this software on your macOS. Thanks for watching.